Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I had to answer that phone call. Uh, yeah, worried parents. So that's sorted. Let's just move on. So where were we? I said we were trying to calculate the derivative of that one. Not the derivative, the integral. So we suggested that formula. Okay, lambda one minus theta. But if we do the derivative of that, we are stuck with that minus because of that minus here. The derivative of that of the minus x is minus. But we don't have a minus. So we really need to leave a minus here to ambush that minus. So as we're going to do the derivative of that, that will jump down, the minus comes up, and that's the end of that story. Okay, we said we're going to move on to the third. Uh, we're going to leave, leave that, so we'll leave some space for this one. And then we're going to have uh, the integral of that. Well, that's going to be minus 9 over 5. And then we're going to suggest lambda 4 minus x. Okay, not brackets, but absolute value. Okay, and now again, just like we had before here, we have minus x. So when you do the derivative of that, it will shove that down, but the minus will jump here and turn that minus into plus. But we want it to be minus, so we're going to put a plus. Okay, so when we do the derivative of that, that minus will jump out there and we'll get the minus that we want. Now the question now is, what's the integral of that? Now, because we're working with a lot of logarithms, you might be thinking, oh, that's just simply 2 ln 1 minus x squared, or something like that, okay? Um, and uh, maybe a minus here, because, but that would be wrong. <laughs> that would be wrong, guys, because, okay, let's just, let's just look at that, all right? What is the derivative? Let's use that, okay? Let's look at the derivative of what is ln of 1 minus x squared. The derivative of ln minus 1 minus x squared okay, is 1 over 1 minus x squared. But then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which will be equal to 2 1 minus x times minus because of that one. Okay? So, but we don't have that. 1 minus x here, okay, over here, we don't, okay, so it's not lambda, it can be logarithm, okay, let me remind you, okay, the integral of 1 over x is indeed lambda x, let's see, but the integral of 1 over x squared is, we don't need logarithm at all, it's simply minus 1 over x, okay, convince yourself, okay, all right, that's x power minus 2. All right, that's x to the power minus 2. So the integral of this will be x to the power minus 1 with a little minus there. Because we always move up. We only need that logarithm when we have x to the power minus 1. And we can't go up because we're going to get to a constant. So, so we don't, it's not, nothing to do with logarithm here. That was actually why it's such a good thing that we did carry on with that example. I'm really chuffed we carried on because I think that's a classic. A, co a problem that you might be doing here. So what is the integral of, I'll put the 2 there, of 1 minus x squared? Well, it's going to be 1 minus x to the power of minus 1, okay? And we need to put a minus there. In fact, we don't. <laughs> Why don't we need to put a minus? Because if I integrate, oh, mixing today, still hit my phone, right? Okay? If I do the derivative of 1 minus x to the power of minus 1, okay, I want to do the derivative of that. d that to dx. Well, it's going to be 1 minus x to the power of minus 2, which is this business, time, time minus 1, this minus 1, okay, that jumps out, but we need to time it also by this minus 1. So minus 1 time minus 1 is positive, which it is positive. So we don't need to ambush it with the minus here, okay? So the answer is simply minus 11 over 5 times ln 1 minus x plus 2, okay? And I can rewrite it as 2 over 1 minus x, okay? Plus 9 over 5 ln 4 minus x. Obviously, we need to add the c, okay? I'll pause here.